Welcome back. Today I have a projector, um, brand new projector, and wanted to be sure you guys get hooked up for something really nice and sweet. If you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you guys do consider subscribing. If you guys like the content, hit that thumbs up. And if you guys have tested a projector or have a projector, leave me a comment below. Let me know which projector you have. Check the description below because I will have this one there. Now, with this remote, it's pretty... It's pretty interesting. It's, you have a, blue, a Bluetooth button, which I haven't seen in some of these remotes before. You have a settings and then some other random button that we're going to figure out what it is. Up, down, left, right, OK. You have your reverse. You have a hamburger button, home button, volume. Everything is all there. Mute is there. I don't know why they don't have the mute and the volume kind of close together. It's kind of weird, but OK, <laughs> whatever. No batteries included, so you need two AAAs. Um, you do get some cables here. This is going to be like some of your aux. That's going to be your power. Um, and then an HDMI cable. And then you also get a carrying case, which is pretty nice. Now they do give you some cleaning stuff and like a little booklet here of how to, you know, just some self care stuff. Um, and then some user manuals and quick start guide. Pretty easy. We're going to go through the whole rundown. Um, and let's check out this projector too. Okay. So the legs on this thing, I had to open this guy out so that way I can get a good little stretch right there. Um, but it's just, this just screws all in and then it just becomes like a little peg leg like this. Um, in the back, you do have power. You do get your, uh, headphones, AV, HDMI one, two, USB one and two. And this is, if your remote's not functioning, make sure you're pointing in that direction towards it. Um, the speaker, I think the speaker is on, yeah, the speaker's on this side, this side only. Um, and it sounds decent. It's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Um, and then here you got your, some of the same buttons as the, as the remote hamburger button reverse, um, or bat or uh, menu reverse. And then the power up, down, left, right. Um, and then your enter button here, you got your focus. And then this one is like a mini keystone. So and then it does come with a little cap here and this just just push it in and you should be good to go so let's plug this thing in and see exactly how it looks like so let's come here to the camera and yeah there it is we're gonna show you some pretty cool features that you could do on this thing so um just to move my head over here to the side it does say home on the top left it almost gives it like that android feel but it's not android so, okay, if you hit that Bluetooth button, it's going to give you Bluetooth options. There you go. If you click the settings button, you have your Wi-Fi settings, which you should connect to if you're going to use the casting. Uh, pro uh, Bluetooth projector settings. Now, projection settings, if you have different modes, this is your front. This is the rear if you're projecting it from behind something, like behind a screen. Um, this is upside down in the front. Or this is upside down behind the screen. Um, and then that's back to normal. Keystone, if you want to switch it manually, you could do it here. It also does have an option on the projector itself that you can do it, which is cool. Um, it's very minor. It's not going to be like this. It's not going to be this drastic. So depending on how you're looking at it, that's how you can do it. Now... I've been able to set some of these up where it looks like it's a 200 inch screen and you're just like, whoa, that's way too much. I want maybe like an 80 inch screen or a 60 inch screen or a 40 inch screen or whatever it is. Um, you could mess with it from 50% all the way to 100% scale. And of course, the further back you go, the bigger it gets. Um, and then you could adjust it. So you could have a 400 inch screen if you want. You could do whatever you want with this thing. Pretty nice. Okay. Now, if you back up again, you do have system update. If there's any kind of updates, this is where you're going to want to do it. You click online. Projector already has the latest version. You're good to go. Um, other settings. So this has like boot source. This is kind of neat. If you open this up and you're just like, you know what? I want it to open up on HDMI one. I have the fire stick connected to the HDMI one. If I turn this off and I have, I'm like, okay, every time this thing turns on, I want this to turn on whatever is plugged into my HDMI one. So here we go. Turning it back on. Give it a few seconds here. 
And whatever you have on port one, then that's what's going to turn on. Now, remember, you got two ports. So whatever you want to plug it in, a shield on one, PlayStation on the other one, um, Fire Stick, whatever it is that you want to do, that's, you know, you do whatever you want. So here we go. So now, now I have my Fire Stick. So since we're here, let's go ahead and go over um, to YouTube. And I'm going to show you a video here. That way you guys can see it, how it works. And here we go. Now the audio sounds pretty good. I'm gonna crank it up a little bit. I love the chase. And welcome to Birmingham, Alabama. Pretty good. Um, these are the top things to do. Now with these projectors, you don't wanna go too loud. Um, for the main reason of it's the speaker is this big. And if you crank that guy all the way up, you maybe could blow it. So I'm going to hit that settings button to get out of here. And I'm going to go to other settings and I'm going to switch this back to off because I don't know what mood I'm going to be in. If I'm going to be on a PlayStation shield, whatever it is. So, okay, we're going to back out, back out. And it's probably going to kick me back out to the home screen. It does have a home button right here to kick you back out, which will take you there, which is nice. And then I still don't know what that button is here. So let's click on that. Oh, here we go. Shortcut HDMI one to an AV port. Cool. So everything that you see here on the left, you could just uh, quick, uh, just uh, a quick push. Okay. We're going to go to movies. I do have a USB cable plugged in. And this is how to set up a Bluetooth. This is an MP4 format video. I th think, and it's going to show you, it's just going to be an audio that plays, no video. So I want to say that the format for this thing might be MKV. Um, you'll need to check their website just to see what it's all compatible. But I just checked an MP4 and it's not showing an mp4 and these are the same videos i put on youtube um if you got music same thing these all four of these kind of are redundant they open up the same usb port so it's kind of like a waste of space i kind of wish they would they almost should have put those hdmi cables and everything on here just because it's i don't know for me it just makes more sense um if you're casting ios these are the instructions you got to be sure you're plugged into your uh your 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 wi-fi and your phone and your wi-fi for the projector has to be the same um when it comes to android um, I'll, I'll go ahead and do this just to demonstrate how it works um for android uh you have one thing here called smart view so i'm just going to click on smart view and this thing it tells you here like go to multi-screen wireless display screen mirroring smart view like one of those functions it's smart view and then just click on uh that wg 600 plus and then hit start now give it a few seconds and it's gonna open up your 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 home now for me i am going to go to youtube and i'm gonna go ahead and rewind this thing real quick hit play and there it is if i go landscape oh, i don't want to do landscape now huh um if I go landscape, there you go. There's a slight delay between the phone and the screen, and you can kind of see it. Um, it's pretty close. Now, if I'm looking at it from here to there, it's it's about half a second. It's very minor, very, very minor. And then, of course, to turn it off, you're going to want to come down. Look for that for that smart view. It's going to be the same exact button. It's going to be called something else. WG 600 plus now because that's what I'm connected to. Um, just click on that device and it'll disconnect it pretty easy. So there it is. Just click the back button there. Here's all your stuff. Everything on this guy works so nice and so good. Um, of course, when it's nighttime, this thing works even better. And also here is a night shot of how this thing works. Um, again, this is just coming from the, the, the projector itself. And I'll show you guys here. That way you guys could see um, that this is the projector. So there it is. There's the projector. We're going to switch over back to the HDMI one. And then I got my fire stick here ready to go. And yeah. Look how clean that looks. Now, I know I have like some ripples and stuff like that in the screen. That's just, I just need to clean up the screen and just make it tighter. But yeah, looks pretty good. Sounds pretty good. 
If you guys get a chance to get a hold of one of these things, do it. And I hope you guys appreciated this video. It's pretty nice how this stuff works. It's actually very, very nice how it works. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I try to get you guys here some cool stuff. Leave me a comment below. As always, you guys take care, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one.